What's going on game? Welcome back to another hair tutorial. In this video, we have the beautiful Kalia representing her type three curly hair. And I will be showing you guys how to achieve these gorgeous, bouncy, flexi rod curls done on pre-stretched, blow dried hair. So in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to achieve this look. And I will also be showing you guys how I perform her semi-annual trim. Let's go ahead and jump straight into the tutorial. So, with this being our first video of 2021, let's go ahead and get started. So, I have already washed her hair. We are going in with this blow dry cream by Flawless by Gabrielle Union. I purchased from Sally Beauty. Now, my first impression, this was my first time using the products. My first impression, it did very well, but I think I was a little too heavy handed because it did leave a sticky residue after blow drying her hair and I didn't really like how that felt, but I'm pretty sure it's because I was a little heavy handed on the cream. So I am going in on high heat on a high velocity velocity to uh, blow dry her hair and it, you will just see my process as you see I pull her hair nice and taut and then I try to get it at least like 50 to 60 percent dry and then I'm going to go in with the detangling brush to finish out on her ends at this point I turn down the heat from high to low since I will be concentrating most of this heating on her ends the ends are the oldest part of the hair so we want to be very delicate with the ends of her hair so I turn the heat down to low just to prevent any kind of heat damage to her ends. Once we are done with that, as you can see, her hair is already is sectioned off in four sections. We're going to get started in adding her flexi rods to her curls. So her hair is pre-stretched, fully dry, so we don't have to worry about this long sitting under the blow dryer process, which Kalia absolutely dreads. So I'm going in with the Cream of Nature Twisting Cream, a very nice heavy moisturizing cream. Honey is a very good product to use when you're trying to control frizz and Kalia battles frizz like frizz is just not her best friend when it comes to her type three curls. So I go in with this product and I make sure I distribute it from in or from roots to end and I make sure I concentrate on the ends. Like I mentioned before, the ends are the oldest part of the hair. So we wanna make sure we take special care of our elders and that's gonna be the ends. So I found this little trick on TikTok where you just take one flexi rod and you use it for pretty much two freaking curls. Since Kalia is gonna have to sleep in these curls, I was just like, well sis, let's try to minimize how many rollers we put in your hair. So I decided to try out this little trick I saw on TikTok. I will say it does work. My dilemma, Kalia's hair is just so freaking long. Like my goodness. So I've been using these rollers for literally years. These are the only set of flexi rods that I have. So uh, we were struggling getting all of her hair to fit on them flexi rods. So I definitely know now that I will be purchasing some bigger or you know thicker flexi rods because I, I'm I'm pretty sure the next time we do this this kind of look is is they're not gonna work. They're not gonna work at all. So as you watch me work, let me go ahead and give y'all a little story time. So uh, the girls are in karate and they had like this little karate test at their um, little dojo where they have to show their performance on and their knowledge on what they know as far as what they've learned in class in order to be promoted from, you know, one color belt to the next. And I believe they're right now at a white belt and they're trying to move up to a yellow belt. So uh, the class was on a Saturday morning. Of course, we're running late because I can never manage to be on time to any Anything. but the sensei was really nice and he let us go ahead and you know push the girls in there even though they were about 10 minutes late so we get in there and they're trying to get ready and Kalia couldn't even learn she did, doesn't even know how to put on her belt so she's like looking at me for help and I couldn't even help her I felt so so bad and I could just see the frustration in her face and I mean that child I have ruined her she is legit my mini me she just does not do well under you know distressed you know overwhelming uh, situations and the only thing we know how to do in those type of situations is just to cry we're, we're cry babies so she was just playing on my heartstrings this whole time so um finally the teacher finds a break in the class he comes over helps the girls put their belt break their belts on and they join in on the class so of course he calls each student up asks them questions on their knowledge he asks them to you know translate japanese words what is this kind of kick what's this kind of punch 
attention, you know, demonstrate to me your knowledge pretty much. Well, Khalil was kind of fumbling through her classes or her questions and she was just getting so flustered. She started crying in front of all the students. Then I really started feeling bad, like just secondhand embarrassment. And I just really wanted to go up there and just like hold my child's hand. But I had to, I couldn't, you know, she's, she, she has to learn on her own. I know I'm just a softy when it comes to things like that. I just don't like seeing my kids struggle and get frustrated, especially in front of everyone. Like, I just know how that feels, and it's just not a great feeling. So I just kind of had to just sit back in the corner and just, like, hope that she could get it together. I'm sorry, pause on our story. Y'all see that bounciness? Y'all see it? Oh, they look good. I know they do. So back to the story. So... The sensei's trying to like get Kalia to calm down. He's like, you know, just breathe, calm down. I understand you're a little nervous, you know, just calm down. So he tells her to have a seat. So I guess, you know, she could catch her breath, you know, try to calm down. Cause he could see that she was clearly frustrated and just, you know, upset. So now we're gonna go into trimming her ends. I'm sorry, another pause into the story. So I'm just showing you the little fuzzies on the ends. That's what we're cutting off. So it's about half an inch of hair. And we're gonna do that on each individual curl to give her a nice little trim back to the story so um i'm sitting there um and she makes eye contact with me after she goes back and sits at her little corner of the dojo and i'm like trying to tell her like look calm down like breathe calm down calm down I'm, like mouthing to her like you're getting upset calm down and she immediately starts crying again as she sees me like trying to calm her down and i'm just like oh my gosh this child is my child like she is her mom her anxiety all the frustration the overwhelming of emotions like oh my goodness so i'm just like it's okay baby you're a cry baby like your mama you get it from your mama you got it honest i'm so sorry baby but please calm down stop crying in front of all these people and then it doesn't help that the girls are the only girls in the class or at least they are the only ones present at this little like testing karate testing study thing so i just felt <laughs> really really bad and I'm like on the verge of tears myself because like I said I understand that my child is frustrated she really wanted to be able to be promoted and you know she stayed up late trying to study how to put on her belt and study her moves and her kicks and I just know that she wanted it so bad and I just I understood her disappointed disappointment because I get very disappointed in myself and I beat up myself pretty bad too and I just could see her doing that already at such a young age like I'm like, oh my gosh, she's she is totally mine, all mine. Like she is gonna be anxiety ridden. Let me try to give her some pointers on what to do to just calm herself down. And I wish I had somebody like that in my corner when I was in elementary school having freaking anxiety attacks and not even knowing it. You know, I'm just thinking there's something's wrong with me. So you know, I do sit up to the side after the end of the test and like try to calm her down because I felt so bad for her. And I come home and try to tell my husband, and he's just like, oh my gosh, like you seriously were crying in the dojo. I was like, yeah like that's my baby and I saw her frustration I understood how she felt you know so we're finishing off this look with some oil sheen because you can't leave without the oil sheen and that is pretty much it this is it for her look as you can see her curls look nice and healthy the frizz is to a minimum I did separate just a little bit just because you know I love some volume and the curls came out great thank you guys for joining us on another video don't forget to hit that like button and don't don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see y'all on our next video.